Perot. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Libra and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, okay? Now keep in mind this is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here on my chair. Um, and um, I do have a second channel if you want to go to it, if you like, at Virgo Pisces Tarot. And um, I offer personal readings for $33.33. You get it the same day. For $22.22, you get it the next day. And for $15.15, .15, you receive your reading in three days, okay? Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. See what's going on with who this is you're dealing with. Okay, so it looks like here that they have this new passionate beginning with you and towards you here, Libra. So I don't know if it's already started with the both of you or they want to pursue you or this is what they're wanting, something new, something passionate, something wonderful here with you in some way, shape or form, you know, a new chapter, a beginning, a lot of excitement and new stuff going on here. Okay, I'm going to put all that back because that, I don't even know how all that fell. That got real weird and choppy so let's see here and yet again I'm not going to take all those cross watcher because that's too messy and once again I don't know how all those fell Need a clear, concise message here. There we go. So it looks like here they have messaged you, talked to you, communicated to you in some way, shape, or form, or at the same time, um, they could have they could be just studying you, researching you, just kind of like in a genuine, like innocent way here. There's something here. For some of you, maybe the new beginning is having a child or kids or something here, but that's not for all of you, okay? Or maybe like having a pet together. Hmm. Right after that, though, whatever information they've gathered, maybe if you guys have talked to each other and messaged back and forth, either or whatever it is, it caused them to actually feel disconnected from you, emotional in a way where they're very uncomfortable. Um, they feel like they've settled. They feel a little miserable, a little bit bored, a little bit stuck now, okay, with you or about you in some way, shape, or form here. Like, there's not much they can do with something here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it looks like they still, you know, well, it's kind of like they are trying to find a way, do they wanna pursue you or take action towards you or not? They're kind of just sitting with themselves and figuring out what they wanna do because it is, they're not really sure if they feel confident anymore about this with you. It's like they want to, but then they don't. They're trying to just be neutral right now because at the same time, they know it can kind of get a little ugly possibly here. And so they're trying to really sit with it and just be neutral for now and not make any moves quite yet.
okay, well, they still want to really just start that new chapter, that new journey with you and take a leap of faith and just kind of like, okay, well, why not? I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go towards Libra and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, and do something very shocking and new and revealing here with you and towards you and just do something for them. Okay, and maybe they just want to go their own way either or, whether it's with you or with themselves, because they've really made this choice now. It's clear, you know, like I said, they could have um, communicated this choice to you, but maybe they didn't. They didn't at the same time. They don't have to, but it's basically something about... The thing is, is right after that, now they feel completely defensive and guarded in a way where there's a lot of responsibility and accountability they have to take into their own hands based on what's going on with the both of you. And now they don't want to at all. Now they just feel like their whole environment is hostile and guarded with you and towards you. And now it's like a mess. Um, now they don't want to really do anything for whatever reason after they've made that clear cut and choice. Oh, because they know, okay, so they're, what they're battling is realizing that it's time to let things go and have things end between the two of you in whatever way, shape, or form. So they're already working on this process of feeling hurt, pain, or betrayal by you or knowing they need to end things with you. They're being neutral about it because I think they know which way they're going to choose and which way they have to go and when or how that's going to be, you know. Yeah, and so them realizing this, it's making them feel more like themselves again. It's making them feel authentic and true to themselves. And it's making them feel successful here to kind of just be them and do their own thing. Right. And now they're aware of a lot that's been going on here with the both of you here. And so I don't know, maybe they still want to talk to you about all of this and just be honest. You know what I mean? But either or here, they're moving very quick because they're extremely aware now of what's going on. Like I said, they know what to do or what to say or how to handle this situation. Huh. But see... They second guess themselves towards the end now. So I think once they became in contact and communication with you, maybe if they did or are or have been, or even if they be, they they found out some sort of a truth that got them good, like ready to just kind of go and do their thing. Well, I think either you spoke with them and it confused them more. They confuse themselves now, and now they don't know who to trust, what to trust, what to do, what's a dis what you know what's deceiving, what's delusional, what's what what kind of illusions and lurky things and messy things or and murky things are messing with them now. It's now them trying to figure out the unknown of something that's very impossible for them to even be able to figure out, and now it's messing with them, unfortunately. So that's what I have for you for today here, Libra. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Pisces, or a Cancer, okay? And that's what I got for you. Thank you, bye.